up some. And we won't have to cry no more. Yep. Yay! So today is May 3rd. It is day 14. A um, little fun fact, I was born on the 14th, so that's kind of dope. <clears throat> it was one of those days where these videos just might just be cut short. Um, if you haven't noticed by the lighting, it is late. And I didn't do a video during the day like I normally do. And now I'm tired and now I feel like I'm like forcing myself to make content. And I don't want it to be like that. So, um, today, I think because today I was in heavy emotions. Like, I'm not necessarily in the best mood. Um, the hardest part about grief is grieving somebody that's not even dead. We don't talk about <clears throat> grieving relationships or grieving friendships, um, because you don't have to grieve somebody in order for them to be dead. You can grieve them because it just means there's an absence of them in your life. There's, they're no longer there. So <clears throat> you don't no longer have that relationship or whatever the case may be. So um, relationships change within the season. And recently I've been going through a, a change. Um... And I'm going to be completely transparent. And it was just like, God has been doing some heavy work on me. <laughs> heavy work. And today I was upset, um, dis disappointed because I haven't talked to that person in a while. And I feel some resentment towards them. And I always say, like, pray for them. But you also got to pray for yourself. Like, today I had to pray for myself heavy because... I was so bitter. I was so bitter. Um, because it just made me think about the things that they, like, our relationship has been through. And how they have treated me. And I was just so, so bitter today. And I really had to pray to God. I was like, God, help relieve this bitterness off of my spirit. Help me relieve this resentment off of my spirit. Because this isn't... I didn't like, I don't like how it feels. Like, it feels heavy. It feels like I'm drowning, you know? And I don't like that feeling. Um, people all, um, so, before I make that statement, I was going to make. Um, people often think that I don't fight for their relationship or their friendship. And that's simply because I've been fighting my entire life. I don't, I don't want to fight anymore. Um, and me walking away or me just navigating around it, it's like, damn, she didn't even fight for me, but I would give my all to you. But I can't give my all to you if I'm not at peace. Like I, I exert enough energy throughout the day, you know, with my health, with my business, with my job, with being a mom. And it's like, I can't fight everything. I can't fight every battle alone. And it's like, you they want me to fight for them. And it's like, I can't because you're not, why are we fighting each other? Like, I want to love you, not fight with, fight you. And um, it's like, I will fight for this relationship if they fought with me and not against me. Like, you're on the enemy side. Like, you're not helping our relationship. You're damaging it even more. You know, that's why I want people to understand, like, you you fight with your partner. You don't fight against your partner. Ever. It was a, um, I was watching something on social media earlier, and the lady was like, you don't ever go against your spouse. I never Never. I don't care how wrong he is. I don't care if he just lost us a million dollars. You going to see me stand beside my spouse when it comes in front of other people. And then we're going to talk about this shit later on how we're going to get this Millie back. You get what I'm saying? But that's just the kind of love I, I have and the kind of respect, you know. Because I know just as a woman, but 
dating and dealing with a black men in society, when they fuck up, especially in front of their woman, it's like deprimental. And if they see that their woman's not supporting him, that's even worse. That's even worse. I I used to tell my friend, I used to be like, um, ouch. I was like, don't bring your fucking female friends around me because the way they talk to him pisses me off. Really pisses me off. Because, like, I would never talk to you like that. So, I'm not going to allow somebody else to talk to you like that in front of my parents. It's, man. <laughs> I will never forget this story. I was sitting in the back of, um, oh, gosh, I hope they never see this. So, I was sitting in the back of his mom's, his car. We was going somewhere with his mom. And I was sitting in the back. And she was just, like, I will never forget what she said to him. Because um, it tore me up. She said, I hope one day that somebody treats you how you treat me. <sighs> and my blood start, started boiling because I was like, absolutely not. And I wanted to be like, nobody's going to treat him that way because I'm here. You know, I, I was, man, it, you can tell I'm getting upset because I was like, no, no. Because why would you say that to your son? Like, why would you want... Like, he doesn't even treat you that bad. He's just he, that bad. He doesn't, he's so logical. And it's just, I, I understand how he is, right? So when people bark at him and people do certain things to him, it, it, it ruffles my feathers because I'm like, that's not how you talk to people. That's not, no, just, just simply no. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. And, um, he, knows me so he looked up in that back seat and and I remember his eyes being in that mirror and he was just like and I was like, okay I'm gonna let it slide because it's your mama but don't don't get it twisted you know what I mean like don't be disrespectful because I wouldn't allow him to disrespect nobody I'm not gonna allow somebody to disrespect him anyway and I remember driving and after that interaction I look at the car in front of us and it was like, pray. That's what the car, that's what the license said. License um, plate said, it said pray. And I was like, okay, God, because you knew, you know, I was about to be like, I don't play. I don't play. I don't care what me and the person I love is going through. I don't care if we've been separated for years. I don't care if I am pissed at the fucking max with him. Do you understand me? You're not going to disrespect him. Absolutely the hell not. Because I wouldn't, I would never treat him that way. Um, I don't care what he's done. That's not between, that's not me. That's not, um, has nothing to do with me. That's between him and God. And he had to take that up with God. Seriously. Um, so anyway, I, uh, people think I don't fight, but I'm learning to fight in other ways. Like, I feel more comfortable fighting in prayer now than fighting with my physical hands. It saves me the exhaustion. And that's so important for me. I I need to save my energy. And I need to save it so I can do, um, focus my energy in a positive manner and do positive things. Because if I focus on negative interactions, then it affects me negatively. Like, then my MS flares up. And I've been stressed. Like, having MS and being stressed is no good. So, when I'm praying, I feel relief, right? When I am crying, I feel stress. I feel sorrow. It feels heavy on my body. When I'm feeling those negative energies like I felt today, I was like, I need to pray because I need some relief because this doesn't feel comfortable to my body. Um, so when people are like, you don't fight for our love, you don't fight for our relations, I'm fighting, but I'm just fighting in a different manner. I'm not going to physically fight you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to pray that God sees us through and whatever God tells me to do within our relationship, that's what I'm going to do. You know, it's been times where I love somebody and they was like, um, wanted to do something. God was like, no. And I was like, but why God? Like, I, I love him. Like, I just want him back. I want him to come back home. God was like, no. And I had to listen to that. I had to listen to that. I had to say 10 I had to stay 10 toes down and listen to what Spirit was guiding me to do. That was hard. 
that was hard because you when you love somebody it's like yes i'll take it back but it's like no people have to learn to grow and you have to continue to move on and i'm glad that i said no <laughs> i'm glad that i said no um everything happens for a reason and everything always works out i'm gonna keep saying that but anyway um I'm learning I don't have to like, exhaust my body. I can pray. Prayer works. Learning how to pray. Oh, I keep saying learn how to pray. Um <clears throat> what to pray for. Like earlier, when I was filled with negative emotions and I was going back to how they treated me and what they have done to me. And I was like, they made me miss them. And this is uncomfortable. Like, I don't understand why they would do this to me. Blah, 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 blah. After we had this conversation, blah, 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 blah. Like, I was just upset, you know? And instead of praying for them, I had to pray for me in this moment. Because if I would have just, like, it's them, it's them. I'm not taking accountability. I'm not taking accountability for how I'm feeling. Like, I'm not addressing my emotions. And the emotions that I told you earlier I was feeling was bitter, resentment, you know, not fully attaching, detaching from the past and not fully letting go because I'm always going to have that resentment towards that person. Um, <clears throat> and it's not going to only affect our relationship, but... Any relationship I have thereafter is going to be like, all right, you remind me of this person. I don't like this. I'm not going to deal with you. Um, um, and I'm going to be carrying baggage. And I don't want to carry baggage. Nobody else deserves I don't want you to carry my luggage for me in my relationship. Some women are cool with bringing their baggage to the forefront. No, no. When I get into a new relationship, I want stuff to be new. I want it to be fresh. You know, we don't come with our bags. We building this together. We, you, you get what I'm saying? And we don't do that. We carry old stuff into a new relationship. That's like, <clears throat> thank you, spirit. That's like um, moving your ex out your house and then moving a new man in the next day. After all that you have built in that really in that house with that other mate, right? With that other person. Now you're inviting somebody new into that space. It's not gonna be comfortable because they know they know that it's not theirs. They know like that's not their home. You built your life there with that other person, not them. The the decorum's gonna be off, the energy is gonna be off. I don't I don't know how I don't understand, this is going to be controversial, how women who are comfortable with being a side piece can step into another woman's house knowing that it's not their house. Why do I want to be somewhere that's not mine? Even in relationships. You want to, okay, they talk to other people, fine. Why do I want to be somewhere that's not mine? I want what's for me. Fighting, <clears throat> we we take the wrong approach to fighting. You think, I don't know what is making me itch. I think it's dog hair. No, it's a nap. Okay, that makes sense. Um, You think fighting because you're out, um, I got to hunt you down, chase you down. You think uh, if I'm not calling you every 10 minutes that I don't love you? No, I'm thinking about you all the time. But if you don't match my effort, if you don't call me, I'm not calling you. I ain't doing that. I'm not chasing. I don't need to chase. What I got to chase you for? If you love me, you want to be here. You want to come sit on this couch with me, watch a movie, let me rub your back. If you are my feet, I'm down. I, man, listen, I'm down. I am one of the most dopest girlfriends. I'm telling you. Man, listen, I'll make you experience things that you have never experienced in life. Like, I like to do new shit. Um, but I'm not going to put negative energy out there. And if I got to force you to do something, no, I ain't doing that. I want to enjoy this relationship. Like, why are we arguing over um, dumb stuff? Like, 
you didn't come home by 11 o'clock. Okay, I get it. It's different from when you're in a marriage, but if you understand it, if you know your, your spouse, you should, you should trust them regardless. For example, like I may not come home because I'm in Philly. Do you want me to drive home at one o'clock in the morning? Nah, stay at your friend's house. I'll see you in the morning. Whatever the case may be, we don't communicate and we don't compromise in relationships, which is why a lot of the relationships don't work. People think when um, winning an argument is winning a relationship. No, no. Where, where is the communication? Where is the actual love for each other? What do you? I don't know where I'm going with this tonight. What do you actually love about this person? You know. We. It's like, yeah, they're cool to hang out with, but, like, that's it. That's it. It's just sur surface, very surface level. You know, like, a love that you can get from pretty much anybody. But it's a difference when you have a real unconditional love for somebody. Like, I'll call you at 5 o'clock in the morning because I'm sick. Like, I, and I need you. Like, I don't care where you're at. I'm going to... You call me, I'm coming. That kind of love. One day, one day, one day. Um, but until then, I have to release the the hurt of the past so I don't take it into my future relationships and I don't carry this bitterness or what somebody else done because it's not with some that person's fault. <laughs> Not everybody's the same. Um, and I want to feel like it's safe to love again. I haven't felt like it was safe to love for a while. And today was a true testimony to that, I guess, because I was dealing with so many emotions. And I was just like, get your shit together. But it's just in likeness, you know, when you mirror somebody, it's also telling you to get your shit together. Um, which I'm trying. I'm trying. I feel as though in all areas, like I'm not perfect, so it's always going to be something to work on. But specifically this area and healing my heart, today, that's why I was working on healing my heart. I was in heavy prayer. Heavy prayer for myself. And I didn't know what to talk about, but look, again, I got big, almost damn near 20 minutes. Um... Praying helps. It helps, it helps, it helps. <coughs> <coughs> because now that I'm praying and I was in prayer early, I can release those emotions. Like, I feel like I'm set free. Like, uh, I, I'm not going to say I'm no longer bitter, but it's like, whew, let it go, Court. Let it go. Because... I will keep a tally sheet and I will get revengeful and I will get revenge in the way I choose to get revenge. And I'm trying to let that part go because as much as I don't like hurting people, I will hurt people. <clears throat> Especially when you fuck me over so many times. Um, but I'm learning to use my powers for good, not evil. Um, and use that in the power of my prayer, um, because words have power. And if I'm not praying for you, my spirit tells me I'm praying against you. And that's the last thing I want for the person that I truly love. <sighs> so, yeah, today I was a work in progress. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And I am always a work in progress. So, I'm going to go to bed now. I get my hair done tomorrow, y'all. So, the next time you see me, I won't have all this. I'm going to actually look like something. I'm going to be in my Cardi B area. Just a little bit. So, um, I will see y'all tomorrow. And I also wanted to talk my about my weight. But I guess we'll save that video for tomorrow. 
Um, sorry for me sniffling this entire video. I have dog hair all over me, so I gotta go shower and take that off. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night.